Well, Gabby, you know Stillian as well as anyone. And, and I'm sure you'd say he's got that positivity, he's got that way of looking at life and that sense of humour to, to pull through this. Yeah, um, I think I know Stan a lot, you know, since he's been here. I think that's four or five years, I think it is, you know. He's, um, just his, his, uh, his like, take on life itself, you know. He's been um, battling away for the team, you know, as a captain. He's been showed every game, great commitment, you know. And I know that um, he's got a really good family around him, so he'll be fighting for them as well. And, um, you know, we'll wish him the best of luck. And he knows that um, he's got a lot of friends in football, you know, so he knows that everyone's supporting him. Yeah, 100%. I mean, Stan, you know, he made me feel really welcome when I first came to the football club. And, you know, when I sit next to him in the change room, and he's always a bubbly character, always, you know, I mean, saying bits and bobs. And it does put everything into perspective because obviously I'm, I'm there worrying about, obviously, my ankle and, and, and you know, I'm mean, hoping I'm going to be back in, in eight weeks with us, you know, I mean, guy like Stan, yeah. you know, Fabrice Mwamba as well, they're fighting for their lives at the end of the day. So it, it does put everything into perspective. But, you know, I mean, you know, I pray to God every day that, you know, I mean, Stan will come back and, and so will Fabrice. I think the nature of the messages and the number of them, all the support that's come from the fans, from you, the players, from everyone associated with Aston Villa, says it all about his popularity, doesn't it? Obviously, he's got the, you know, what I mean, the mentality of a captain and his, um, his career so far, you know. So we were wishing him the, like the best of luck, you know. And um, we know that, you know, every game we're playing for Stan, and yeah. it's just positive the way. Um, <clears throat> You know, he's, um, he started his treatment already, you know, he started it yesterday, so it's good as well that the chairman and the manager went to see him yesterday at the hospital, so that's encouraging for him. But, you know, he just knows that he's got a lot of friends at his club and um, we'll be playing for him, you know. Yeah, the chairman, the chief, he's at the manager, all been to see him on his first day of treatment. And I think that shows what the unity is of Aston Villa, doesn't it? And it shows what the club's all about. Yeah, definitely. I think um, he's going to want that support, you know, and especially, you know, he's... Um, as long as we mix it, you know, we don't overdo it and like, you know, he want to be around his family a lot, you know, and be left with his family, you know, in Stilly and, you know, but as long as that support continues, then it's good for him. Yeah, because it was it was uplifting, wasn't it? You know, all the support that's come in for Stan, v yeah, very special. It was fantastic. I mean, even on my Twitter, I must have had about 100,000 people, you know what I mean? give Stan my, my best wishes, give Stan my best wishes and it was just nice to see and what, what was also nice is that it wasn't just Aston Villa supporters, it was just right. football sports from around the world yeah. which was just, you know, I mean, send petrol for, you know I mean, even Rangers fans, he played for certain Rangers fans today tweeting me saying about, yeah. I hope he gets better and it does and, you know I mean, as I said, we all pray to God that he, he does pull through and he, he does make a great recovery. Yeah, and emotionally for you and the players, what, what's it been like for you and how much of, of a challenge now between um, now and the rest of the season? You know, we've we found out it was um, obviously shocking news, you know, I think He's got the healthiest diet at the club. He's got, you know what I mean? He doesn't really go out or anything. He doesn't really do anything, do you know what I mean? That would, do you know what I mean, affect your healthiness. But yeah. that's why it's a bit of um, shocking news, you know? But I think we stand. He's um, a strong person and he'll get through it, you know? And then um, everyone's with him. Yeah, because finally, he's got that um, character, mm. hasn't he? He's, he's a man of the world mm. and he's got so much respect mm. for, for everyone he meets. You know, that, that will stand him in good stead. Yeah, of course. And, you know, he stands a fire. He, he, he'll never give up. And, and that, well, that's one thing that, you know, I mean, I've always known about Stillian, especially I've only been to the club a short time, but I've known straight away that he's a fighter in training. He's always doing a bit extra, always putting his body in the line. And, and as I said, this is, this is probably the biggest fight he'll, he'll have to make in his life. And, and hopefully, as I said, he'll pull through and, and I really pray that he does.